Hey, what is up, guys? It's Jason. Welcome to my channel. Today is my third video on Zhi Yun Smooth Q. That's right. I'm probably, most likely, gonna make more videos on this gimbal just because as I use it more and more, it feels like I just can't cover all the stuff I want to share with you guys in one or two videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the buttons, controls, and different modes this gimbal operate in. Oh, by the way, my other videos on this gimbal will be linked down below or towards the end of the video. So make sure to subscribe my channel to stay updated with my other videos on this gimbal or many other fun stuff videos. All right, let's go right in. So first thing really quick is how to mount your phone. This gimbal uses a spring mechanism to hold your phone. I'm not a big fan of this, but here's how you do it. You hold this apart, and somehow you manage to slide your phone in with your other fingers, like this. See, this is the part I really don't like this is because as your phone get bigger, it got tighter. It's really easy to drop it during mounting and uh, taking off your phone. Once you have your phone mounted, I want to show you guys this. There's a knob here on the back. So you can lose that and change your phone position to like this, vertical. But most likely you're going to use it like this. So now I'm going to screw it back in. Now if you can see, there's another screw here on the bar. If you lose the screw here, you can push this in a little bit or further away from the central point. So once you have your phone sliding, you have to use this to somehow balance your phone. But you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be like as balanced as possible. And I think this is good. Oh, and I forgot to mention this in my last video. Uh, this is probably useful for a lot of GoPro users is you can buy this adapter from Amazon or eBay and then use this with GoPro. I forgot the exact name of this uh, brand, but I'll link it down below. And now let's power on this gimbal. To do that, you just long press this power button. And you start seeing the yellow flash flashes here first. That's a battery level indicator. I'll talk about it later. And if you want to turn it off, long press this button again and it's off. Once you turn it on, this power button becomes a shutter button. And you can use that to take a photo or stop and re start recording. But you have to use this button with the ZY Play app. So let's see how it works. Now let's take a shot. Okay, so that works well. Just for information, this shutter button doesn't work with your onboard camera app from your smartphone. Only works with the ZY Play app. So once it's powered on, you can see there's a blue flash here. That's a battery level indicator. You can see now it quick flashes four times. That indicates you have around four quarters, basically all the batteries left in there. As the battery starts draining, it changes to flashes three times. That indicates you have around three quarters left and so on. Until you get to the point where it flashes only one time. And that indicates you have about one quarter of battery left. Before I go any further, I want to mention the names for the three axes. So later on, when I mention them, you know what I'm talking about. So the first rotor here is on the back. This is called the roll axis because it rolls the phone this way. And the second rotor here on the side is called the um, tilt axis because when this machine is on, it tilts the phone up and down. And the last rotor here is called the pan axis because this rotor controls panning your phone. Now, right above this power button, there's another button. This is called the mode button. I don't know if you can see the word on it. This is the most important part of this video is the mode controls how your gimbal moves. Now, the first mode is called pan moving mode. In this mode, when you move your gimbal left and right, the pan axis follows you, but it doesn't follow you when you're tilting. So you have to use this joystick to kind of control up and down to control how it tilts. Now, now I'm tilting down and now I'm tilting up. 
Now the second mode is called locking mode. In this mode, everything is locked. It doesn't move with you anywhere, no matter when you pan this gimbal this way or you tilt it. So the camera stays stable like this. And the last mode is called following mode. In this mode, it moves with you when you pan your gimbal and when you tilt your gimbal. So the way you change between those modes is by clicking this button. Now that part is really confusing. So I made a graph to show you how many clicks control what modes it changes into. Now the last control I want to mention is this shifter lever. It's supposed to zoom your camera lens, but in reality I found it really hard to use and I barely use it. The problem with this is there's no real-time feedback when you zoom in or zoom out. The screen doesn't zoom with you until you stop pushing the button. Now see, now it's moving. But what's more, even more weird is if you push this button all the way to zoom in or out, it changes modes to selfie, which is really bizarre to me. And that's the reason I just never use it. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I should have other videos on this topic on the screen now, somewhere. All right, see you guys next time.